Two ways to work out delta G. Well, the first one is using this equation here. And so if the question is a reaction at 25 degrees C, has a delta H of this and a delta S of that, calculate the value of delta G. That little theta sign means standard STP and comment on its sign. Well, you're thinking I'll just put the numbers in and you can see the trick. When it comes to the temperature, you've fixed it and you're done. No, 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 no. It's the only mistake you could have made. What's the mistake you made? Everyone does it at least once. You spot it, joules and kilojoules. In the data booklet where you're going to get the data from, that's the trick they play. So I'm going to divide that by a thousand. So my answer will be in kilojoules per mole. Okay, that's the first trick. Oh, let's put mole to the minus one, since we're trying to be in IB land here. It's negative, and a negative delta G means it's spontaneous. Okay, the second way to work out delta G is, well, if I have the products and reactants value for delta G, I can just do that whole products minus reactants business. So I'll just look them up in my personal data booklet. That's X and that's Y. Now I'm going to put a 2 there because there's two blahs. Just to remind myself there's two. And it's products minus reactants. Ooh, so I better just look up, hold in my data booklet. Yeah, that's Z. Keep an eye on the signs. Sometimes there's a minus minus, but not in this case. And we're done. That's like someone's entire life work in, in two minutes. That's good value.